probably in my office, that's my number one issue that comes in, is how do I get my driver's license? I uh, received an email this last week from a 73-year-old uh, grandmother in my district who was unable to get a driver's license in Tulsa, has to go to Muskogee, uh, be there at 5.30, stand in line, and at 8 o'clock they get in and hopefully shortly thereafter have a driver's license. I'd like to tell you that's an isolated case, but it's not. What are we doing? Well, when we look at, at the whole realm of things, whether it be real ID or driver's license or just having an identification card, we're addressing all of those. Real ID has been problematic, and uh, we were handling those for a long time just simply through uh, DPS, uh, the Department of Public Safety. Uh, take some documents to be able to do that. And so they have established a portal, and you can get online and try to get an appointment to get your real ID. Uh, they're working through that as quickly as possible. Now, there's been some software issues. Uh, I've met with the folks at the Office of Management Enterprise Services about the software. I talked to one of the representatives of that software company this morning. Uh, they're working out the bugs, and, and so that's, that's getting straightened out. Nevertheless, we still got a little bit of an issue that we're working with on software. How are some of the neat things that's happening? If you need to renew your driver's license, or if you just need to replace your driver's license, you can actually go online uh, at the Department of Public Safety and do all that online and print out a paper copy and put it in your car. Uh, you know, the governor signed an executive order that you can go to Career Tech and uh, do your testing at Career Tech. Uh, your renewals now of your CDLs, and that's major. You used to have to go to the Department of Public Safety. Now you can go to your local TAG agent and get that done. Or if you just simply need an identification card, you can go to your TAG agent. Also, prescription drugs has been problematic, uh, that I need a prescription filled, but my driver's license has expired. Well, we passed legislation this year. Senator Treat ran the legislation out of the Senate. The governor signed it. Now, your license can be expired up to a year, and you can use your Social Security number. Here's what I want people to understand, that with this year, when we've had uh, at least 426,000 renewals that have come in this year. Whenever we begin to look at uh, the real ID that we're trying to work with, uh, there's 92,788 have already been there. They have their real ID. Uh, those are good numbers. But if I don't have mine, it's still very, very frustrating. And so I just want you to know that the legislature is working on this. We want the tag agents to offer friendly service, very speedy service. We want to take care of the people. We want DPS to make sure that the software is up and running. Uh, Senator Hall is our point person in the Senate, and he's working with DPS and working with the tag agents. We're also working with the Oklahoma Tax Commission so we can have this problem uh, back to normal as quickly as possible. The pandemic's done a lot of things to us, but this just seems to be a lasting consequence of the pandemic. And my goal, I want to get it back to where you and I can walk into a tag agent and say, I need to renew my driver's license. And they say, come right over here, get in line, stand there, get your driver's license whenever you walk out, and no more appointments. Please know we're working on this. We're frustrated, but the answer is right around the corner.